it's that really really beautiful time of night when it's like that twilight or that magic hour when the sun is slowly disappearing over the rooftops of Budapest it does it everywhere in the world but if you capture it it's just like oh, it's glorious it looks really really everything looks beautiful and prettier anyway I wanted to talk a little bit about the sequel <clears throat> following up with my sister's chateau I thought I had lots of footage but in fact I had a very different experience with my sister what we did was we just spent time like brother and sister like siblings we took photos of each other and we did selfies and we walked along the old medieval bridges and wound up the cobblestone driveways and we even went to a, an outdoor concert which was really good it wasn't full of drunken louts and things which you might get in a New Zealand or Australian festival no insult intended but you do um, people listening to music and dancing and drinking red wine and not over drinking and we walked all the way there through this old like really genuine medieval kind of mid Europe central Europe ruins and old houses with secret doors of set into stone walls it's really beautiful the whole place is really beautiful and when we drove through Mont Montmorillon my best friend Jackson and explored the place the one thing you notice more than anything is how incredibly tidy and neat and clean everything is there's no litter on the streets I didn't you don't see a chewing gum wrapper you don't see chewing gum right on the streets it's really actually it's good the other really weird thing is that you don't see many people I don't understand that there seems to be a sort of a certain hour maybe it's around this time around you know between five and six o'clock when the sun's going down then people are sort of out and being exposed to life so to speak but there is you can hear little noises going on inside but the, it's really quiet that's really interesting and in Mont Morillon it's mostly expatriates no I can't say it's mostly expatriates there's loads of them artists and creative people or finding a new life where the housing is slightly cheaper it's definitely cheaper than it is in the UK and they build a really creative community and I think that's very important that's like nourishment for people so this film is really about exploring Mont Monion and being with my sister for the first time in 10 years when all, oh, often during our lives our paths didn't meet but now we have the parallel paths we are able to communicate with each other and we've accepted our differences and also the differences of perspective when we look at life and to be honest there's a huge common bond in that and re-meeting a sibling and being able to connect after oh, 10 years it's a long time so that's the film that's coming now and I hope you join me on this adventure and I will share this part of life one thing I hadn't counted on was having to leave the UK and re-enter France because of course it's not part of Europe anymore. There are actually more English people arriving here than French people, that's for sure. France, live in France. Actually go here. There's something special about getting to know your sister again after always having had your own perspective and she's always had hers so just walking together really makes a difference to be honest to be honest I haven't taken any photos and hardly any films it was all this discovery process of being in a new country that looked completely different somehow from Hungary it's tidy and neat and meeting my sister after having not communicated for 10 years and here we are back again and wandering walking talking to the local cats and admiring the architecture and feeling as though I was in a completely different world. Interesting how siblings grow apart and grow together or live parallel lives and then when they meet again you can see each other more objectively somehow and I see the creativity in my sister and the consistency between the chateau and the house light and color and texture and I can see that she's got talent it's obvious it's glaring why didn't I see that when I was younger
very aware now of how my experience of life has been so very different from my sister's, even though we grew up in the same family. So seeing that Kate has got this completely empty room, it's a beautiful room, like a yoga room, and it looks out onto the garden, I can exercise in there in the mornings. This wonderfully abandoned garden that's obviously had a design underneath it with bird baths and little fountains and walkways within it just needs to be rethought. Life in Montmorillon is full of very interesting people, lots of expats, different walks of life, poets, artists, and even horror film makers. Dream because it was a dream in which a woman writer left me a house. It's kind of where we started our traveling, and it's like this year's traveling. Oh no, no, we started it before then. We started it last September. Yeah, yeah, we've just been kind of cruising around. It's great, drifting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. It's good. Yeah. First time that you haven't got both the girls. It's so like, yeah, no, I was like, we, we would be like, uh, that's that great. Would he was thinking, <laughs> since we're going to be together for the next few years, we're going to be together for the next few years. was a tiny clip from the Hellbender film, from the Shudder films from John and Toby that we met at the dinner party. I will leave a link to their work in the description. Walked for ages following the river, listening to the sound as though it was beckoning us towards the festival. The walls on the right hand side and the hill on the left and the wall, there were little doors built in and I didn't photograph anything. I didn't think of it. I was just walking with my sister and we were chatting and the night was still and calm and we walked towards the sound. Actually, the band were really bloody amazing. And the other really good thing that I noticed was that just different kinds of people there, older and young, all together, nobody fighting, nobody over drinking, they're just enjoying themselves. And the band were absolutely excellent. I'll put a reference to them in the uh, description of the film. And the way they heated the place was these big logs inside a kind of an iron ring that was impaled into the ground. What a great thing. And we've decided to take a trip and do a little bit of tourism and go and see the Saint Savon, if I can say that properly, probably not, cathedral. And it's uh, big. You'll see. I'll show you. Oh, incredibly quiet. The area is known as Valley of the Frescoes as well. There's a lot of very ancient frescoes. Ancient churches with exactly this remarkably 
effect, you know, ancient villas. Now this was a funny little walk as we were just wandering around the city and the bridges and admiring the architecture and talking about building and construction and aesthetics and all this kind of thing. We noticed this woman who was kind of following us or she seemed to be quite close to wherever we went. So when we darted down this alley alleyway, we saw her, you know, shuffling quickly down and darting in a door. Going down a mystery alley into the depths of we don't know where. Great. So it could all be in my imagination. This figure sort of kind of shadowing us and sort of following in semi invisibly and darting into doorways and then reappearing. And then when we got to the bridges and we looked down at the water, we could see her standing on the edge of the river, staring intently at the water and we never discovered if she was following us or not. So much? Four. No. Four, five, six. Perhaps, perhaps this is one of the things that age brings. It's the opportunity, not even through reflection, but to simply change your mind and to reach out. I think that's what's happened with my sister and I. We've met again after a really long gap of life in which we didn't see the same way and perhaps we did still don't see it the same way but we can now look at each other's lives with another perspective as though we are living parallel lives on the same universe whereas for a while we were worlds apart and that's what this trip has really done brought us together to the degree that we are now like siblings like brother and sister walking our own paths in life, but able to look at each other and enjoy the company of the other once again. Which I've never done before or since, but I just needed to get the tension out of my body. Bloody hell. And it worked. Mm.